Hey, today I'm gonna to be doing a review of the Titan 60 inch barbell. Hey, this is Greg with Discovering Strength, the channel focused on all things Garage Gym. If you like what you see, consider subscribing below. All right, so I have now had the Titan 60 inch barbell for a few weeks. And you can see it is this one right up here. So you can kind of see in relation to the other barbells I have, how big it is. 60 inches is five feet long. Um, so the reason that I got this barbell initially was to just have another shorter barbell to fit my small one car garage space. All right, so today I'm gonna do a review and let you know what I like and dislike about it. All right, so first off, I love that it fits my small space a little bit better than my other barbells. You can see, you know, as I move out here, it's a tight space. And so being able to have a shorter barbell really has worked out quite well for me. I really have enjoyed using this barbell for movements like hip thrusts, bent over rows, overhead presses, and similar movements. And another one of the big selling points for me is the price tag. You can pick this up on the Titan website for about $75, including shipping. So when you compare that to, you know, shorter barbells from Rogue, you know, you're still looking at $200 or so for one of those. So I do think it's a great bang for your buck. All right, so I'll show you one thing that I don't love, and that is that due to the length of the bar, it actually doesn't fit my T3 rack. You can see that it's, you know, uh, sitting on the, on the J hooks. So that being said, you know, it is a five foot barbell. So it's sort of to be expected that it's not gonna fit perfectly on your rack. And honestly, for me, I was never planning to rack it. I was planning to use it for different movements like the others I had, I've already mentioned. And one thing I don't love is that the knurling on this bar is very passive. Uh, I'd like for it to be a little bit more aggressive. Another thing on the sleeves, uh, you know, there's no grooves along the sleeve, um, which means you don't get that really satisfying sound when you, when you put your, your weight plates on. But really the bigger thing is that Without the grooves, what I've noticed is that the weights can slip a little bit because your collars tend to slip a little bit or they can slip a little bit depending on the movement that you're doing. So, you know, when you do have the groove sleeves, it, it allows for a little bit more grip. And lastly, I'll say that, you know, it's not the highest quality barbell but I think you're gonna expect that for $75. Um, there are slight imperfections I've noticed throughout um, some of the knurling. They're, you know, small little uh, knurling imperfections. Um, so it's definitely not the highest quality barbell, but like I said, I do think that's a little bit to be expected. All right, so overall, I really love this barbell actually. Um, for 75 bucks, it's, it seems like a no brainer for me to just add it to my arsenal of barbells. And uh, you know, it fits my small space. It uh, performs the functions that I need. Like I said, it's not the highest quality barbell, but I think you expect that getting something like this. All right, so that does it for the review of the Titan 60 inch barbell. Let me know in the comments below if you got questions or comments and we'll see you next time.